Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here and welcome to World of Final Fantasy. So this game comes out this week. It's actually out already if you guys are in the States, but for those of us in the UK, it doesn't come out until Friday. So I thought we'd jump in and take a look at the game itself. I haven't done too much reading on it. It's my understanding that it's basically Final Fantasy meets Pokemon because it has a monster catching aspect, which sounds super exciting to me. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Of course, if you guys do enjoy this, I'd like to be super appreciated. Also, comment down below. Let me know if you guys are playing this or if you guys are looking forward to it. Either way, let me know. Awake at last. Tick tock, tick tock. Tick tock, tick tock. Tick tock. Time to wake up. I gotta get to work. Oh, am I gonna make it? The boss hates when I'm late. All right, sweet. We're playing now. Cool. This uh, this must be my my buddy on my head. Let's uh, let's do this. Again, I wanna get to get some battles, like catch some Pokemon. The streets sure are quiet today. Hey, I'm here. Huh? How'd she get in if no one's here yet? Good morning. I'm real sorry. I hope you haven't been waiting long. Right. She needs some water. Oh, no thanks. A pint. I mean, a 
cup of coffee, please. Oh, and bring the whole jar of sugar. I'm gonna need it. Right. That's one cup of joe. And I'll get you one of the big jars. <sighs> Has nobody made the coffee yet? <sighs> Come on. Get together, guys. I'm sorry, miss. This might take a while. Hey, no hurry. Time's not an issue. Here you go. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> she wasn't kidding. <laughs> up I'm all ears well you don't have to get all sarcastic uh, you really are all ears uh, what forget it so long have you seen anybody this morning well yeah I mean I'm looking right at you aren't I and there's that customer what You didn't even see her? Dude. Uh, yeah, but... Ah, uh, look! Come with me right no. now! Easy! <laughs> Final Fantasy Starbucks logo. There's nobody here! So it's a quiet morning. Maybe they just... I mean no one. Huh? Lon, have you bumped into anyone today besides her? Uh, now that you mention it, I guess not. And this isn't setting off any alarms? Well, should it? You two really don't remember a thing. Huh? What was that? Who are you? If you're from around town, then I don't know you. Uh, Rain Manners. You two really don't remember a thing. Would you please just answer my question? You can call me Anna Crow. Anna Crow will work. Okay, well, we woke up to a ghost town this morning. Maybe you know why? Yes, you're quite alone, but you always have been. Huh? This world, it's always been the two of you. A world without time. One that ended when it began. What? That's the weirdest thing I've heard. But don't worry. Just because the world ended doesn't mean that it's going anywhere. You know, I have been checking up on you two. Until now, you were nothing but blank stares. So imagine my surprise when Lon took my order. What a morning. Okay. Now you're kind of scaring me. So, now that you're awake, we've got a story to tell. Which brings us to... Tama! Right to here! Uh, who the hog put this thing on my head? Yeah, I did try to mention it before. You take it from here. I'll go on ahead and link up a path. You the daddy! Huh? Uh, hey, uh, hey! You hey, can't just uh, leave! Salutations! The name is Tama, and I'm here to help out. Does anyone have any questions? 
Wait, I've got tons of questions. Why were you sitting on my head? And how the hell can a fox even talk? That's the seriously the first thing on your mind? <sighs> now I see why Anna Crow is just about the ready to throw in the towel. We're not allowed to be confused? <sighs> hey, whoa, take it easy there, Lon. I thought you were upset Let's too. Let's start the over. I'll make us some of the coffee. Huh? Oh, yes, please. <sighs> but I already made some coffee before you got here. How can you just roll with this rain? Chill the owl. You'll live the much longer. Yeah, Lon. You shouldn't start out your morning with so much stress. Oh, would you like some sugar? Three cubes for you, right, Lon? Huh? I'm good uh, with just one. No. Okay, I... I'll have to go and put the coffee on. But I just said I... You know what? Just give me my dang cup of coffee. Garage keepers? Me and Rain? That's the correct! Those the marks on your arms are proof. You were born to work the miracles! Miracles? Our arms can do that? Dude. How could you the forget? You used to command a whole the legion of them! You were masters of them! Powerful living illusions known as mirages! In the fact, even the Pleiad answered to you, and those are the seven strongest mirages of all! With their power, you could have the ruled over all the world! Oh. So, we could have ruled the world? Because, what, we controlled these mirages? Well, that's what I've heard. From who? What do you mean? In a crow that told me, of course. But enough the reminiscing. I've got to teach you two to use mirages again. What? How's that? First off, I'm going to present you with my very own prismarium. So what does it do? With this prismarium, the mirage inside becomes yours. And you can make it do the anything in the everything you command. So let's the try it right now in glorious combat. Wait, what? Huh? All right, battle time. Let's do this. Hey, Pikachu, go! You need to spend something called action points, also the known as AP. You automatically gain a little to bit of AP each the time your turn comes around in battle. The amount of AP you need depends on the what you're trying to do, so make the sure you use them wisely. Active time battle, ATV, okay. I remember this, but anyway, get ready, it's battle time. Characters take turns based on agility. The faster a character, the sooner they get to act. See that long thin bar? Each face represents a different character. When a character's icon reaches the top of the bar, they can select the action to perform. You can uh, use R to switch between characters who are ready to act. Okay. Simple enough. Assign buttons to uh, button shortcuts to abilities. The actions you can take in battle are called abilities. Abilities are mapped to your buttons. So just press a button to use that ability. A target is chosen for you automatically, so you can speed through combat simply and easily with these shortcuts. Okay. Cool. Abilities are assigned to buttons automatically in the order you learn them, but you can also customize your shortcuts via the game menu. Find the setup that works best for you. Yep. Sweet. I'm ready. Okay, so attack. Uh, nothing, nothing, and defend. Well, I'm going to attack. The best defense is a great offense. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Right, certain commands like magic and other abilities cost AP. To use characters recover AP when their turns come around and by successfully exploiting enemy weaknesses. Okay? The more powerful the command, the more AP it requires. Most Mirages have weaknesses and you can exploit for bonus damage and AP. Discovering them will give you a huge advantage, so don't be afraid to try things out. Okay. Cool. So I should to wait for my uh I'm gonna take an attack because he's gonna move up the bar. Alright, your turn, so let's Oh, what's, the, what's this? Hang on. Oh, okay. I think. Alright, oh, fair enough, fair enough. Give me... Okay. Attack. 
Do I have any other abilities? Can I do anything else? Can I do... No. Okay. Oh, cool! Got a classic menu as well. Hey, That's cool. So you can go old school. Items, nothing. Abilities. I have nothing there either. Fair enough. Okay. Well, that's cool. If you want the old, old school menu. Alright. I quite like the classic menu, you know. But anyway, let's use this fancy new menu. Looks like it's almost dead. Cool. Easy. Right, battle modes. There are three battle modes. Active, semi-active, and wait. In active battle mode, uh, sorry, in active mode, time keeps flowing regardless of whether you, um, whether or not you input commands. Battles move quickly and without interruption. Okay. In wait mode, time stops until you input a command for the character whose turn is up. This gives you a chance to carefully consider each action. You can change battle mode settings via the config menu. If you find active mode too challenging, try sticking with the wait mode until you have uh, grown more accustomed to combat. Okay. We'll keep active for now. Classic metal menu. Oh yeah, I did this. I worked this out already. Thanks, game. There are some commands, for example, items that can only be selected from this full menu. Oh, okay, so you do need to swap between classic and non. Uh, if you've chosen active menu, time continues to flow while the menu is open, so be careful. One last thing, you can pick up uh, and choose targets when you use the full menu. This comes in handy when you want to control over... Oh, okay, when you want control over the fight. Sweet! Okay, so yeah, if you're, if you're basically doing, like, random trash mob fights, then you'll just blitz through in active mode and stuff. But if you're doing, like, more considered boss fights that you might want to kind of go classic and think about what you're doing. I have no... Oh, I've got abilities now. Let's do it. Let's, uh... Let's use... Uh... Useful... Useful, uh, useful information. Inflict. Magical fire damage. Let's do it. All Boom. Alright, alright. I think I've seen enough for one to tussle. Alright. Nice. Okay. Big stack L. To figure it out yet? The two of you? We're on the surpassed. No, the Mirage could stand up to you. Dude, seriously? Dude, the seriously. It's hard to believe. I'm sure it is. As far as I can tell, you two have lost everything. All the memories and experience you've ever accumulated. Oh, but wait. Of course that would have happened when you and this world were spliced out. Huh? So not only did they lose the Mirages they had, they've been the stripped of all their memories of the Mirages too? But, I guess that explains why all their other memories seem to be largely on the affected. What? Listen, let me show you something. Ooh, what is this? There, just beyond this light, lies another world called Grimoire. That is where you'll find all the mirages you've lost. You mean they're all inside this gate? You got it. Are you ready to conquer them again? So, um, if we do manage to find all the lost mirages, does that mean we'll be able to remember the things we forgot? Well, I don't know about that. After all, you lost your memories. It's not the same thing as forgetting them. Oh. But, even if you don't remember Grimoire, Grimoire still knows a lot about you. You're certain to find traces and records of your past. Okay, so like... You're saying, whether we remember anything about ourselves or not, we can still find clues about our past and the things we've done? Correct. And if you keep on gathering mirages, I think you might even meet your family in due time. Uh, our family? Huh? Well, I guess... It does make sense that we'd have parents. Oh, yes. So then, you going? You going? Will you journey to Grimoire?
Chapter 1 Land of the Lilikin. Alright, now we're talking. Now we are out of Starbucks and into the real world. Let's dive into the Wellspring Woods for a little bit. Do some uh, combat because it's taken a little while to get to my first fight. And we'll see how we go from there. Hey, <laughs> look at me! What? <laughs> what? You look like such a little dweeb. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> I know. We look ridiculous. <laughs> huh? Oh, don't worry. I'm sure that's how every the body in this world must look. In a crow just wanted to make sure you had a nice and a handy way of blending in. Wow, she can do stuff like that. That is awesomely weird. Well, this kind of works out. We won't have anybody gawking at our arms. Way to find the silver lining. All right, cool. Lilikin and giants. In Grimoire, the smaller people are called a Lilikin, and the taller people are called giants. The twins can switch freely between these forms, change rain and change land. Okay, cool. Although you're free to strut around as either size, you will start combat in your current form, so it's never a bad idea to have stacks set up for both situations. Okay, cool. All right. Tapping into the tip jar. The tips you see in these panels are never out of reach. Da, 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 da. Actually, yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 Well, let's I go. I head straight down this path. So I can go. It's the only direction we can go. Think you can manage to not get lost? Hey, you know, look at that. Just this once. What? Yeah. Gonna get lost? Anyway, let's let's stick around in mini form for now. Let's go into. Let's get some some combat going. What is this? Just like a little chick with it. Hey, is that always oh, a chocobo? That is the call a choco chick. Or choco chick. Go on and imprison the it. Ooh. Okay. Imprison, yes. Imprison is basically catching Pokemon, so let's do it. Sort of like a prismarium. What is it? That's the called a prism. Use it to the make the Choco Chicks prismarium. Every time you find a new the mirage you haven't seen before, it'll be recorded in Anna Crow's special mirage manual. Whoa! Does it even have pictures? You the betcha. And then whenever you add a new mirage to the manual, you receive one of its prisms. But only the first time, the mind you. Okay, first try the weakening the Choco Chick, then the use your prism. Okay, perfect. In order to imprison a mirage, you'll need an empty prism, comparable with a mirage. I read that as a Pokeball. <laughs> uh, but there's some good news. Enecro will provide you with this, uh, with your first compatible prism, whenever you encounter a new... Oh, okay. So you get one free if you, if you find something new. But if you if it takes more than one Pokeball to catch it, then you're going to have a need to go and stock up. Okay. Why doesn't Enecro just fork up the whole lot? Don't worry, you'll be, able, you'll be able to befriend almost every mirage you meet eventually. Uh, be sure to take a look at this. Okay, let's do it. All about prismariums. Once a prism holds a mirage, it is known as a prismarium. A mirage's prismarium allows you to use the mirage in battle. If you look closely at a prismarium, you can see a miniature world inside. They're like snow globes. That's cool. So to recap, you start with an empty prism, you can imprison a mirage into the prism and it turns into a prismarium. The prismarium lets you add the mirage to your stacks and use it in battle. Okay, cool. Even if you fail to imprison a mirage, you won't lose the prism. So there's no hold to... Oh, oh, that's cool. Oh, sweet. That is very cool. So, provided you're finding something, find something new, then you'll actually always have a... Cool. Mirage data and the Libra ability. If you press the options button during battle, a window will open up, uh, containing all the mirages you are facing. Uh, mirages. Okay, cool. Yeah, fine. Oh my gosh, this goes on for ages. Each mirage is strong or weak against certain elements or status elements. Learn to identify them. Yep, that's fine. Uh, in addition to status elements, characters sometimes undergo other positive and negative changes in battle. These are usually triggered by abilities and are sometimes represented by the following symbols. Okay. Here we go. Let's go. Ah, cool. So, displaying the Mirage information. Choco Chick, HP, yep. Elemental Resistances. Cool. Alright. Cycle Stats, Ailments, yep. Let's go. Let's get into battle. Um... 
Oh, it's her. Okay, cool. Does that mean I can I change in battle? Can I change size in battle as well? No, I can't. Okay, never mind. Right, attack. Choco Jick. There, a prism tunity. Use the imprism command to declaim that mirage for your own. Okay. Go on. The select the imprism command. You might have to try different things before certain mirages will let down their guard and give you a chance to imprison them. Oh, I see. Outside of the box. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. So, so you don't necessarily. Because, of course, you're not always seeing their life bar, right? You basically just need to attack them until you see they're ready to imprison. That's cool. Uh, you can't just walk up to Mirage and imprison them. To collect a Mirage, you need to knock it into the uh, Prism Tunity or Prism Tunity state first. Oh. Sometimes all you need to do is create... Um, Tunity is a big, heavy club. But the brute force approach doesn't always work. Try putting the club down and think outside the box. So sometimes it might be like state settlement and stuff. All right, cool, cool, cool. Well, let's do it. Let's catch this Chuckle Chick. Oh, I need to wait for my turn. Fair enough. Ow! Alright. Imprism. Uh, circle. <laughs> That's a cool animation, I like that. I thought for a minute I didn't get it, because the way that they came out of the ball. But I got it! Sweet! You did it! Now that the Choco Chick is inside the Prismarium, it's yours to the keep! Alright! Alright! Nice. Right, imprisoned. Okay. Oh, transfigurations. Is that like evolutions? Let's talk about the abilities. Okay. Uh, confirm. Name it. No, I use the default. I don't name things like that. Looks good. That is super awesome. Cool! I can see the Choco Chick running around in the Prismarium! Pretty the neat, huh? Next, why the don't you have a go at stacking that Choco Chick on your head? Here, watch! I'll just show you! Oh, now I get it! So when I saw you perched on Lon's head back in Ninewood Hills, that's what you call stacking? Yep, that's the right! While I'm up to here, I get to take it nice and the easy! Uh, is that stacking or slacking? <laughs> when you create a stack, the HP of everyone in the stack gets the added together. Like they say, strengthen the numbers. Oh, so it's like combining into a super robot. Better than yet, your magic and other abilities have the potential to change too. It all depends on how your stack is the configured. Huh? Oh, I don't need any action figures when I get to blast out super attacks like a super robot. Well, just be the careful. Stacking doesn't make you invincible. Some of the enemy attacks have the power to unstack you. In other words, bye-bye super robot, so to speak. Yowzers. It does sound like bad news. It's true that we are individually the weaker when we're unstacked. But look on the bright side. Since we each get our own the turn in battle, we can use the extra moves to have one member attack and another the heal. It can be very the helpful. Depending on the situation, you might even decide to unstack yourselves by choice. Think the carefully, and choose the best setup for the job. Right, okay. Should I stack? When you stack with Mirages, the stats are HP of all the things are combined. Cool. Your abilities may transform. Stacking with fish. Yeah, that's cool. Alright. You're always more powerful in a stack than you are fighting apart, but there is one downside. Weakness. Uh, weaknesses are also shared among the whole stack, which you can get in trouble for. Okay, right, I get you. So, yeah, if something was weak to fire and you stacked it, then you're all weak to fire. All right. Use the stack setup screen in the game menu to choose the Mirages will fire alongside you, or is it on top of you. Uh, you should set up stacks for both oh, for both your forms. Um, that way you're ready for battle no matter what size you're using. Oh, I see. Okay. A stack can be up to three members high. Oh, sweet. Uh, there's one simple rule. Smaller goes on top of bigger. Try it out. You'll get it. Okay, let's have a look. Get wise. Um... Sign sizes, that's fine. Oh, sweet! So if I'm if I'm mini, I can go on top of a bigger mirage. Oh, that's super cool. All right. Okay, cool. When Rain and Lan are L-sized giants, mirage will always stack above them. But when they're twins, uh, the, they're Lilikan, things get a little more crazy. Suddenly they can ride on top of mirages. Oh, that's super cool. All right, all right, let's do it. Let's do some stacking. By the way. Oh, no, hang on. Uh, where's my menu? Okay, stack set up. Let's have a look. So, so can I stack? Uh, 
Okay, no, because right, I see, I see. Oh, that's what so that's, that's what the letters were. Small, medium, large. Right, okay. So you could do with a stack. So we'll put in the uh, choco chick on your head because it's a small. Cool. And then if I go to the large mode, can I set up a form for that one? So can you have choco? Oh, oh, so you need you actually need different. You can't like use them both in both forms. I see. Okay. So what are my stats like that? So when I'm when I'm large, my stats are, are my stats. Bigger when I'm better when I'm large. Uh... Oh, I see, because I'm combined. Right, but if I take that out, just for a second, uh, if I remove that. No, no, no. Remove. Okay, so. Oh, no, that seems to be the same. Alright, fair enough. Well, I'll fight in chibi mode for now, so we'll keep it like this. Uh, I guess I need to get some more, more mirages so I can do some stacking. Let's, uh, let's go. You won't be allowed to put big things on top of the small things when creating the stack. Okay. So, to get on top of a mirage, you need to the be in Lilican form. The right. best way to the learn is to try it once you've rounded up a few more mirages. You'll pick it the up in no time. Huh? A dead end? But there's nowhere else to go. What are we gonna do? Never the fear! Look the closely! This may appear to the be a wall, but it's actually a gimme golem. Is this a mirage too? Not in the traditional the sense of the word. But you'll see these pests all over Grimoire. And unless you they give them what they want, they'll give you a hard the time and block the way. So what is it they want? It really the depends on the guinea golem. So the first thing you'll have to the do is examine it. Alright, let's see done it. Gimme, gimme! Uh well, I lost a leaf. So where do we find that? That choco chick you just imprisoned ought to be able to track the down what we need. But first things the first, you're going to have to unlock the right ability on the choco chick's the mirage board. Okay. Right, using mirage boards to power up. Each mirage has its own mirage board. A special chart. It's packed with powers and potential. Abilities, stat boosts. Each space on the board holds a new surprise. You can unlock the spaces using the skill points your mirages earn when they level up. Okay. Some space on the Mirage board cannot be unlocked until you meet special conditions, but with a little work, they're all within reach. Okay. Support abilities, Stroll. So Mirages that have learned the Stroll ability will appear alongside Rain and Land in the field. Okay. So you can explore Grimoire together. If you're accompanied by multiple Mirages uh, with the Stroll ability, you can cycle between them with that. Okay. Sometimes Stroll and Mirages will discover useful items. Try bringing them... Oh, okay. Cool. All right. Let's do this then. So, let's go to... That's the wrong thing. Um... Let's go to the Mirage board, select Chocobo, and see what we can do. So, uh, select. What do we have? So you want, what's this? Stroll. Can I, do I have the, the points for it? I did. I do. Nice. Sweet. Do I have anything else? Uh, I'll save it for now. Let's just do that. Let's just keep it, keep it basic for now. All right, so I can then go. Hey! Oh, he found something. He's found it. Huh? Nice. That was easy enough. Yay! You have found it. Now try examining the gimme golem one more at a time. Huh? You found something. It's got to be said. Gimme, gimme. Adding the before a lot of the words. It's killing me right now. Sweet. Whoa, it vanished. That's so cool. I guess the Choco Chick found us just the item we needed. Yep, yep. With the help of a Mirage or the two, there's nothing that you can't accomplish. And Mirage boards are for much the more than unlocking abilities. You can also use them to change your Mirages into new and the powerful forms. Ooh. So be sure to keep on the leveling up and working on your Mirage boards. Pretty soon, you'll be bouncing in the trouncing across Grimmore like a pair of the pros. Sweet. Tama, how about you the That's shut up so I can the adventure and enjoy my the game? Thanks. <laughs> oh, a chest. Yeah, yeah. Wait, why am I suddenly controlling her now? I don't know. Oh, well. Whatever. Whatever. 
Three potions. Sweet. Is there anything else around here? Come on, Choco Chick. Find things for me. So, Tama, I noticed mirages disappear when we defeat Ooh. them. Why is that? Hey, what's this? This is Most cool. of the mirages you see in Grimoire don't actually the technically belong in this world. And so, when one of you guys that gives them the old KO, they can't maintain their presence here anymore. They fizzle that out and go back to their own worlds. Huh. Cool. Wait. Now, that's weird. Who was it that told me all this before? Ugh. It's like... Right there, on the tip of my tongue. What's this? What's this? This is the Cotton Mercury. Inside, you're the likely to find mirages that are, shall we mirages? say... Mirages? Oh man, let's go catch them. <laughs> but... Uh-oh. Oh, this looks sick. Please say I can catch it. I'm probably, it's too early in the game to let me catch this, this isn't it? Not very cute. He's awesome. All right. Murkrift, scary but true. Murkrifts are home to strange, rare, and usually very dangerous mirages. If you want to explore one, make sure that you're fully prepared before diving in. Well, I am definitely not. Be too tough for you to handle when you first find them. Uh, if you do end up getting one, to come back later after you've got a bit stronger. Oh, man. Murkrifts, you're likely to find mirages that are the strong and dangerous. You tried to tell us. Try a little harder, please. She's probably gonna teach us about running, isn't she? I really want that though. That look that guy looks sick. Okay. Um Ah, five. Oh my gosh. Oh! <laughs> I'm dead. Man, I'm gonna come back and get that guy. That's sick. Oh no, did you two die already? What? I died? But that's... no way! Maybe it's true. That Mirage and the Murkriff did kinda... Well, I'm still alive. Yes, that's because someone intervened. Right at the moment of your demise. And made it so the battle never happened. Wow, you can really do that? Of course. Although Tom is the one who does it. That's the right! I have the power to rewind time a little. And then the whisk you to safety. Although, it the cost me a life to do it, so I hope you don't mind if I rest for a little the while afterwards. A life? You might not believe it, but I've actually got multiple lives. Back there, I had to sacrifice one of those lives to turn back time and to save you. You see, this girl with the ribbon that showed up in my dreams, she's the one who taught me how to do it. That makes zero sense and kind of freaks me out, but Tama, I'm impressed. But thanks! Oh, but just so you know, I can only the use my powers to protect the two of you specifically. And only the if you lose a fight, like what happened to you in the Murkrift. Oh, the yeah! And I can always the recover my lives if you stay here and let me the rest to spell. So, don't forget to give me a breather before I run out of second the chances. Dude, you got it. Say no more. Rest yourself silly. Yes, this, sir! Thanks, Tama. We really owe you one. Especially Lon, who didn't have the good sense to listen before diving in. D uh, <laughs> right, when the party has fallen, the entire party is defeated, Tama will whisk everyone to safety back in Ninewood Hills. There's no penalty, but you will have to fight your way back to where you were. Okay, be careful though, if you're inside the threshold of a power mirage, Tama won't be able to save you. It's game over. Ooh. Hey, okay. Who's that? Oh, if you mean our new guest, she claims to have gotten herself lost. Go say hello. She's quite the character. Uh, okay. The real Where'd question is how she got she here from the outside really world when it's no easy trick. Oh, she must have experience way. crossing between Would planes. Cool. Alright, you know what, we're gonna wrap up there for now. It's just that was a quick look at the prologue and the beginning part of chapter one. 
Uh, if you guys do want to see some more, let me know. I may continue over on my second channel. That's kind of how I tend to sort of do my Let's Plays. But anyway, that's a look at Final Fantasy or World of Final Fantasy. So if you guys did enjoy it, like we super appreciate it. Comment down below, let me know your thoughts. And thank you for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.